When we were doing introductory Zoom meetings for USC before the semester started, a lot of the faculty was very hopeful that we would be able to come for fall, but obviously that didn't work out. And it was hard to say goodbye to. I was pretty sad that I wouldn't get to meet these amazing musicians in person. It's easier to get to school when I'm just in my bed and I just have to go to my computer, but it was a little different, you know? Usually we're all in the same room together, bouncing ideas, playing it for each other then and there, but we're not able to play everything at once through Zoom. I direct the freshman combo, and that's all the new incoming students. This was just a new experience for them, but young people are a little more resilient than old timers. I think we managed it really well, even though we didn't get to see each other face to face. The passion and the music was still there. You know, we talked about the music that we enjoyed, or we talked about artists that we liked. You really got to see everyone's personalities shine through. Sometimes someone will text into the group chat, like during a class that we all have together, make a joke or something, and then you can just see everyone on screen, like, crack up. <laughs> The cool thing is the teachers encourage us to use the chat, like private message, say, hey, I just listened to your music, it sounds great. And so I would say the atmosphere is very supportive. We've still been able to connect with one another in a very valuable way. And I think that when we finally do get to be on campus, the friendships that we have now are only going to be stronger then. To be a successful musician, you have to be able to change with the times. I was really inspired by everyone's level of musicianship and what they brought to the table. It really takes you knowing not just your instrument and the theory and all that, but you also got to know how to get a good recording, good takes, know how to send it. I definitely didn't know how to mix music or even record my own music before starting the fall semester. And so it was like a big jump in the deep end of the pool. But thankfully I had some random like recording supplies already on hand that my teachers really helped me with figuring out how to use. In actual fact, this has been the norm for a lot of recording for about the last decade or so. This is usually what professional musicians do, send a track back and forth and uh, overdub their own parts and then send it back. It definitely taught me to be more thoughtful about the writing process and the recording process. Just because like when you're not in a room together, you have to be extra good at communication. But I'm definitely going to carry that on when in-person classes can take place because I really just want to focus on creating a welcoming musical environment for everyone else in the group. The life of a musician as an artist isn't a destination. It's very much a journey. You're always learning something new. This is the journey we're going through. Why not make it a fun, enjoyable journey? 